Now that's a pretty long process. So I wanna show you how instead of going through that process, you can just get this loaded up straight away every single time. So here we are in FL. So you've got some Waves plugins. I'm gonna assume you've got them installed and I'm gonna assume that you've already told FL how to search for them and find them so you can add them in. If you don't know how to do that, it's a whole different video, but I've made one for you. So I'll link it in the description and throw it in the little pop-up above just here as well. So if you need to do that, just have a quick watch through that. It's only about three minutes long. Once we've done that, we can then get our Waves plugins inside FL. So what we'll do, I'll just add something to the master just to show you uh, how the system works when you're using Waves plugins inside FL. So if we select our master channel just here, we're gonna go to slot one and we're gonna select, and you'll see here I've got Wave Shell 10 and Wave Shell 9.92. That's because I've got two different uh, versions of some Waves plugins installed. Some I've updated to 10, others I haven't paid for the updates for, so I'm still using the slightly older ones. But to get this, we have to go to more plugins and we'll get our plugins menu up. And once we've got this, we're gonna look for the wave shell. So down at the bottom, we can just type in waves, hopefully. Although there's a lovely bug in the OSX version where you can only type one letter at a time. So we'll struggle with that. So if we just hit W, hopefully that will filter out. Here we can see the wave shells. And you need to choose the versions you've got here. So I've just done the VSD 64 bit versions and that's why they show up in that list for me. Now we're just gonna select version 10. It gives us something called the Waves Shell. What this does, it loads the Waves plugin inside itself. Uh, the reason for this, I'm not entirely sure, but inside FL, the Waves plugins have to sort of protect themselves. Remember, years ago, they just didn't support FL. So what we can do from here, we then click this, and anything we've now got installed as a Waves plugin should show up inside this Waves Shell for us. So we can take pretty much any of the ones we want. So let's take the Apex Vintage Exciter, and now that shows up like that. Now that's a pretty long process, so I wanna show you how instead of going through that process, you can just get this loaded up straight away every single time. So to do that, we need our browser open on the side over here. Perhaps you haven't got it or you folded everything up. What you can do is click on the little arrow just up here, we can do add to plugin database flag as favorite. Um, it will give you a bit of a stop here because it's gonna find the folder and open everything up. Look, we're gonna cancel that because it's not what we necessarily wanted to happen. So we've got plugin database effects and we're gonna stick the Vintage Exciter in distortion. So if we select the distortion one just here, now we're gonna repeat that same process it's going to ask us now, do we want to add it to the subcategory distortion? We do. We OK it. And it now exists in here, meaning we can just actually drag and drop it from here. And instead of having to open everything up as before, it just lands there for us. Equally, it's now available in the plugin picker. So if we just press F8, we get the plugin picker up. We could start typing Apex and it'll be there for us. And we can just drag and drop that out. It's just much easier and quicker than opening Wave Shell every single time. So I hope that's helpful for you guys and I will see you on the next video.